What's up, everybody? I'm Preposterous Miss Bradley, and welcome back to another March is Honest. So today, I don't know if it was a leak, I don't know if it was just released early, but there was a Steven Universe episode that is, like, one of the finale episodes. Oh my gosh, the episode was so intense. So I don't want to give any spoilers, but I figured I could make this joke and it's out of context enough that it won't matter. So I thought, instead of, like, explaining the joke, I would explain my animation process a little bit. So I... For my animatics that I do, I uh, animate them in Photoshop because that's my preferred thing. Um, I animate other things in Open Tunes, and I have used Toon Boom Harmony before, but I uh, can only afford one expensive program set a month, and I have chosen Photoshop. <laughs> So I start off with uh, drawing a key pose, which is just like one of the main things. Like if I'm doing a longer set, I will do a lot of key poses. Uh, this only has three frames. Uh, this half of it, I haven't finished the other half yet, as you'll see. Uh, usually the key frames, when I say key frames, I usually mean just like the main poses. So I wanted to get her like her resting pose. It's not really the resting pose, it's like the mid pose for this little dance that she does. I wanted to make sure it was really well because that's the, the frame that's there the most, I think. And then once that's done, I go through and I kind of, I usually duplicate the layers if it's, if it's a frame right next to each other. Like here it works really well that I don't have to draw the same thing over and over again. I duplicate it and then I can um, move her arms like I'm doing here, like I moved her arms in so that they're about the same length and they're the same size, but they're in a different position. Before I move on to like duplicating layers and stuff, I, I usually try to like clean everything up, but as you can see, I kind of <laughs> did, I, I never actually do, I always mean to. And then to see like if it's moving the way I like, I it's called scrubbing. I go back, I scrub back and forth between the, um, the different frames. Um, sorry, I, this is the uh, first time I've actually been watching a video as I am doing a voiceover for it. So here I am going back and forth, uh, making sure that um, the movement is right because uh, here again I've duplicated the drawing and then I flipped it back and forth so that it's right forward and backwards. And see, here now I start playing it to see if the timing is right with the sound. Um, it wasn't. I, it took a really long time to figure it up. I've duplicated the layers, uh, so it's just like a th little a three-frame sequence just repeated over and over and over again. Um, I guess technically four. A four-frame sequence. Because it goes back to the first pose. Anyway, like here I, I do, this took so long, I should have been able to get to the other half of this animation, but um, I keep duplicating the layers and stuff and then I start playing it and I realized that I had overlapped a lot of them. Um, and so like, you can't really see it because it's so fast to sped up here, but some of the um, layers were on top of each other and it would just be easier to delete everything or undo everything and make sure they're spaced out right before I and like I think I did it like three or four times. I was I was so mad. There is easier ways to do this. Uh, don't do it like me. Like this isn't the way to animate at all. My animation teacher is probably if he's watching this, he's screaming at me for <laughs> animating in Photoshop. So here I couldn't figure out which uh, layer to go with. So I just um, I decided to multiply a color block on top of the animation and then just cycle through colors. So I decided to do a rainbow here, added pink because pink can be in the rainbow because fight me. <laughs> and then I make sure that uh, the timing is the way I like it on that. I decided that the color would go a little bit fast, uh, a little bit slower than the actual frames because I didn't want so much flashing. Anyway, here's the actual animation. It's not finished yet, but it will be really soon. I'm hoping to get that up tomorrow. I would uh, work, I might work on it tonight, but it's actually pretty late. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming, so much for being here. I hope you learned something. Ask me questions and I can explain it a little bit better, a little bit slower than the five minutes that I gave myself. Uh, all right, I love you guys so, so much. Uh, remember, memento mori, unis, honest.